How nasty is a mask after an eight hour shift at a hospital? So we are gonna swab the mask now. I just got this new swab right out of the packaging so it hasn't been contaminated. We're gonna apply it on here and yes, I'm doing a streak type test. Now that it is labeled, we are gonna turn on the incubator. It's set to 37 degrees Celsius and it's gonna be in there for 48 hours. So we'll put it on in there, inverted. These are colonies of bacteria that grew from a used mask that was used for eight hours in a hospital. We got it on a slide and we're gonna look at it under the microscope. So this is on 40 times under the microscope. It's pretty cool to see, uh, we'll get in closer. It does look to be bacterial and not uh, like fungal. 100 times zoomed in. It's a little grainier because those are more like the individual bacteria. We're gonna swab this TV remote put it on a petri dish and incubate it for 48 hours to see how much bacteria we can grow. So I'm now swabbing the remote. This is the most used button, of course. It's the on-off button, so I really wanna make sure I get in there. Back and forth. So here it is, here's the TV remote. So here we have on 40 times, you can really see more closely the individual pieces of bacteria, and yeah. So I actually just got these brand new Petri dishes in, which I've wanted for a while. They're called blood auger, so they contain lamb blood, so it's supposed to actually help different colonies grow. So we're gonna apply the uh, swab to this blood auger now. Streak it. Have you ever wondered what bacteria was on raw meat? So those white cream ones, I know it's hard to see because it got a little fogged up, but like those big white cream ones, those kind of match what E. coli can sometimes look like. So the main bacteria you're looking for on like raw meat is E. coli, <clears throat> Yersinia, I think is how you pronounce it. I might be pronouncing it wrong to be honest, but uh, you can look it up and also Salmonella. I don't see Salmonella or Yersinia, I believe. Uh, I don't see either of those, the colonies here. To be honest, definitely B. E. coli. Um, from what I saw before, it almost matched up with what E. coli looks like under a microscope. But to be honest, E. coli also under my obviously money gets passed around a lot in the years that it's printed, and so we're gonna swab and see how much bacteria it actually has on it. We got the swab here. I'm just gonna move it all around the sides and stuff. I'm gonna get back and forth onto the petri dish at the top. Hopefully, with 40 times, we can actually see individual microbes. Here we go, 40 times. If you look in the top right, just a little bit, you can see them moving around, actually, which is pretty cool. Swap all over. And we're going to apply it to the Petri dish. All right. A little interesting to look at. I'm going to get up more up close and personal with it. But let's see. Here we are on 10 times. Still weird the color differential there and everything. But uh, yeah, we'll get a little more close and see if we can see anything better. So this is on 40 times and it's really interesting. I don't know what that is. I've never seen anything like that in, in one of the colonies. So please, if you know, comment down below and enlighten the rest of us. And today we are gonna do an iPhone. I had a lot of requests to do an iPhone. Get the swab nice and dirty. Do the sides. I promise you, I am not hitting the table. It's just on the phone. Exact format across the whole thing. We are gonna put this in upside down because I saw some comments saying to do it. There we go. And voila. So we have a big colony right there. Those little cream like white ones are just the normal bacteria that's everywhere. Now this one is very interesting. It actually grew out if you can see, it grew out like that, has a very irregular shape, grew up, definitely looks more like a fungi than like a mold or mildew, more so than like regular colonies of bacteria. We'll zoom in one more time and see what we can see. So here you can see more of the individual bacteria. You can actually see them moving very well. Oh no. There we go. You see them to the top left. They're moving around. Just very cool to see because that is something you'll never be able to see with the naked eye. 